Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here again for our weekly interview with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. So we're going to talk about a peptide. I love to talk about peptides and it's epitalone. And um, I, I'm going to have lots of questions about it. But first, I want to, before we get into that peptide, I want to tell you guys that uh, Dr. Nario is with Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. I've, what's it been? I've been going to the clinic for ages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a decade. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 10. So um, long time, depending on what my different protocols are or whatever. And you know what? I noticed that um, most people are coming from out of state. They don't live in northern Nevada. I do. But I've noticed that people come from and your your aunt is kind of well known. So people come from actually all over the world. But a lot of people come from states you know, where they drive and not too far away, but they could fly into. And what, what happens, I'm, I'm, I want you all to know that people come in and they'll do a protocol for a week and then they'll come back maybe three months later, depending on what their needs are, depending on what they're trying to treat, what they're trying to address in a holistic way. So I've never really explained that. So I just wanted to let everybody know out there that um, go check it out if, if, in you guys, there, there's so many different issues and you go to a, you know, a doctor that a, a different type of physician and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. People that go to you, I've noticed are, they're looking for, they've tried everything and they're like, okay, I need to do something different. Right. Right. Well, Steve, whatever somebody has, we have an IV protocol for you. So maybe that's a, a good way to phrase our service. But of course, that's not doing justice to what we do, but we're really known for our IV therapies, basically. Right. Okay, so tell me about this peptide. What's it for? Well, see, why am I talking about this peptide is because I myself personally am using it. And the thing here is, it's, it's just a, it attracted me to the, to the benefits. And, and let me tell you later on the story that I have, but this is a peptide called Epitalin. So epitalin is almost in relation to the newer anti-aging, um, it falls into this umbrella of anti-aging um, therapies. You can consider it, uh, I guess, in the classification of like astrag astragalus, uh, which in, uh, elongates the telomeres, EGCG, which is extract of green tea, and also has that same function, melatonin, which I can always brag about and would not have not, um, I mean, I don't have, anything bad to say about it, but everything good about this specific uh, hormone. And even you'll hear about rapamycin, urolithin A, exosome stem cells. It kind of falls into that specific category of anti-aging um, peptide. And it's a derivative of epithelamine, a naturally produced peptide found in your pineal gland. It was discovered in 1980s by the Russians and popularized by Dr. Vladimir Kavinson as a bioregulator to possibly prevent mature aging, pre uh, prevent premature aging in Russia's military men. So it started in the military and they're probably making super soldiers over there, as we all know in movies, right? Studies mostly made by St. Petersburg Institute and it primarily works by increasing the production of the enzyme called telomerase. And telomerase, as I told you, it elongates the, the, the telomere or the, the DNA and protects it from oxidative stress, thus longer lifespan better organs that are functioning and even, um, again, less morbidities and mortalities from illness. Okay. So you're practicing what you preach. You're actually using this. Now we talk about peptides a lot, just so for everybody out there, a peptide is just a short chain of amino acids, which your body makes, right? Doctor, your, your body makes these peptides. Right. Well, uh, th we do create these things, but as you can see, as aging, kind of gets into us. And also as we face oxidative stress every day, we have this ability to now create less of, of such molecules. That's why we need help. Always remember these people. People think like, oh, this is part of aging. I need to accept it. Really, it's not. We need to support the body and accept that aging is part of our life cycle. And in order for us to live longer, we need to do something about it proactively. Yeah, well, it must be working for you because you don't look anywhere near 95. <laughs> sure, I try my best. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, yes, for sure. Even though your body can make it, it helps. It like you. I think you use the word "get a little extra." Um, so um, people are taking this, and and what what are they saying about this? And I, and I want to hear how it's working for you and how long you've been taking it. You said the Russians and found it what year? I said the 19, um, I, re, I, I, I guessed him at 1980s around that time. Oh, so it's fairly recent, 1980. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So tell us more about how people are reacting to this. P your your um, patients that maybe you've put this on or some of the research that uh, you've read, because you gave us a lot of scientific information there, but what does that mean for a guy like me? What's that going to do for my body? Right. So basically, how does it work? So how does it work is it, uh, it allows, uh, well, the enzyme called telomerase allows our cells to produce protective parts of our DNA called telomeres. So telomeres allow DNA to replicate and lead to the production of newer cells. Uh, our body's production of telomerase decreases over time. Thus, this, the result is shorter telomeres, which ultimately shortens our lifespans. Consequently, our cells are eventually unable to divide or replicate, which leads to death in physical, of the physical body. Uh, the more efficient our telomerase production as we age, the longer our telomeres extending our lifespan, our lifespan will be. This provides our cells with a much lower biological age. In several human studies, as I mentioned about the Russians a while ago, that epitalon supplementation led to lower mortality rates among the elderly and frail but even the healthy people. If your goal is living a much longer life, of course, as what I want to do and for my patients as well, Apitalin is a must as an anti-aging peptide. Okay, so now I'm kind of putting the, I'm connecting the dots here. So if our, can, our cells can rejuvenate themselves, that's going to be a big benefit in slowing down the aging. So... That's what it's doing. It's helping rejuvenate the cells and renew the cells, keeping us younger. So um, you talked about um, why you're taking it and you teased us a little bit about what it's doing for you. Have you noticed how long are you have you been taking this and what have you noticed? Have you noticed anything? Right. So now we go into the realm of the benefits of this. But personally, for me. I, I, I notice immediately sleep. So when, when you talk about epitalin, stimulates the pineal gland to create melatonin. So that's where the, the house of our melatonin is and thus improving sleep patterns and even increases deep sleep. So that's the best part about that. And of course, being studies as an anti-aging um, peptide, its ability to regulate other processes in the body is actually inclusive. So this is the one that I actually have seen with my patients. Um, like, well, obviously telomerase activation, as I mentioned a while ago, and just to ex uh, expound on that, I want to, I want the audience to imagine like a rope, the longer the rope, the better, that's our DNA, the shorter it gets. Of course you have less rope to hang on to. That's why it's not good, and that's what aging does. So the longer we have, the telomerase enzyme keeps that rope longer and longer for us to hold on to it so we can have better function of our organs. But again, as in general, as I use it on my patients, I want it to be more of a cellular protectant because we have a lot of antioxidants. Epitalin is very strong mm -hmm. on that. Uh, in, in, in versus oxidative stress and also free radicals, it actually protects these DNA that we're talking about that we need to maintain. The immune system modulation, of course. Epitalin shows that it has the enhancing ability for our immune system to promote immune surveillance against pathogens and abnormal cells. So I give this to a lot of patients who, who are sickly, as I call them. And also for, number one, brain. As I told you, the pineal gland is there. But not only that, hormone regulation. So I, I am known to be a hormone practitioner as well. That's why in boosting melatonin, serotonin, sex hormones, uh, this is something that I also use in conjunction with the hormones, uh, bioidentical hormones. And one of the bigger challenges every day that we have is stress. So that's why part of that hormone regulation of epitalin is cortisol. It also regulates and downplays um, excessive cortisol production in our system. And who doesn't have inflammation? 
Everybody has aches, pains, and even just adipose tissue hanging around. They, they are all inflammatory. Epitalin has an anti-inflammatory effect, which actually repairs even damaged tissues. That's how good it is. And me also having experience with uh, the cancer center, it's an anti-cancer um, peptide. Specifically on studies, prostate, breast, and colon are the ones that are especially mentioned on these studies. It shrinks tumor size, even stops the spread. And this was studied on mice, but you're doing more studies on people on this one. And one of the everyday things that I see in the clinic, insulin problems, uh, sugar problems, and even cholesterol regulation. So it, epitalin has been noted to increase good cholesterol and lower bad cholesterol and also improves insulin sensitivity. Wow, it's really helping you stay young in every way. Uh, the, the melatonin that it helps with, is that what helps the sleep? Uh, it does also, but uh, the thing here is when I talk about sleep, you have to remember inflammation is actually something that uh, makes sleep worse because all of these inflammatory, um, I guess, enzymes goes to the brain and stimulates it in a bad way. So also being an anti-inflammatory, it also lowers down that effect for the brain to calm down and also promote melatonin uh, production. Okay, so this peptide rejuvenating cells obviously is going to help with all the things that you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Diabetes, I mean, on and on and on, because you're rejuvenating and just kind of sparking new cells, which are going to be more efficient than the old cells that are dying, right? Right. That is correct. So did you notice uh, that you slept better? And how yes. long did that take? One time? Or? Not really. So peptides, you have to remember that I always kind of preach about this. I always, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I have a clean system, but I, before I consider peptides in somebody, I need to make sure that inflammation is actually controlled. For the reason that it's almost like putting, um, putting people in a house. If you want to put people in a house and make them happy, it should be a nice house. It should be all clean. But if it's a house that's dirty, there's like a lot of, a lot of clutter, it's not going to be good. Same for the body in relation to peptides. The body has to be optimized. You have to make sure you're controlling your cholesterol levels, your, your blood pressures, your diet is uh, on, on the dot, on, on dial. So everything, if everything is in, in the right spot, then peptides are going to be living better and longer in your system. So that's why when I use this, I use it maybe for a week. And I, then I felt the benefits, better sleep. And everybody needs sleep. That's where we regenerate and we get stronger. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So is there any last thoughts or anything else that you'd want to add to this peptide that you would tell us about? Right. What the, what the um, I guess, uniqueness of this peptide is, is the dosing. The dosing in different countries, there you would hear that three times a week um, uh, and three weeks straight, once a year for a dosing. It can be done every night to help with sleep. It can also be done for like uh, every day for 10 days, then done once a year for a total of two years. So you can see the, the different variations in dosing in, in, in internationally. But the thing here is always... I have to remind everybody, if you see an epitalin that's in oral form, that's not going to work. It has to be an injection because the, the oral one is going to be broken down by our, by our enzymes and acids. And again, when is the best time to get it? As I mentioned to you about, yeah, before sleep so that you can have a, a better sleep outcome. Um, or should it be during the day to get more energy? Really, there's no answer to this yet. And epitalins just, uh, again, just a great uh, peptide to get, to receive. And the, my only point is I tell my patients, just get it. Whatever time you prefer, doesn't matter. And the thing here is, it's not something that will be felt immediately. As I told you, for me, I'm, I was lucky one week. But there are patients who are taking it like, nah, I didn't feel it. I'm almost there like for a month using this. The thing here is, it's a long-term anti-aging peptide. And you have to be ready that you won't notice anything when administered. One of those peptides uh, really has, um, I mean, a long, it has to be sinking in. It's not something that, oh, my pain gone because I, I got a, a steroid shot, right? So I have to give that out there because you might give false expectations for this peptide. But 
a very good everyday maintenance type of peptide if you're focusing on anti-aging. Wow, that is fascinating, the different dosages. So mm -hmm. uh, talk to your doctor, uh, everyone, if you, if you have a doctor that's more integrative or functional, um, that's talk to your doctor. And um, Dr. Nario, we appreciate that insight. That uh, is amazing. You know, I love peptides. And uh, thank you so much for uh, bringing this information to us. Well, thank you, Steve, for having me again. As you all know that our knowledge is your power to better health. And thank you for letting me provide you with the edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge. All right. We'll see you all next time, everybody.